Hi, I'm Stephanie Jaworski of JoeyBaking.com. Today we're going to make Mexican wedding cakes. These are small, round, shortbread-like cookies that contain ground nuts. And what makes them really unique is that we uh, roll the still warm cookie in powdered sugar. Um, these cookies go by many names. Besides uh, Mexican wedding cakes, they're called butter balls, butter nuts, snowdrops, snowballs, or even Russian tea cakes. So we're going to begin by taking uh, two thirds of a cup of 65 grams of nuts. I prefer like a walnut or a pecan and we want to toast these nuts and I've already I've already done that so what you do is put um, your nuts on a baking sheet and put them in a 350 degree uh, Fahrenheit which is 180 degrees Celsius oven for about 8 to 10 minutes just until they're brown and you can start to smell the nut and then let them cool completely and then what we're going to do is we need them finely ground now you could do this on a cutting board with a sharp knife uh, but a quicker way is in your food processor if you have one. Uh, just put the nuts in there and then to prevent them we don't want them if you there is a tendency to over process and then that will uh, make the nuts into a paste which we don't want. So to help them not clump together we we'll just take about um, two tablespoons of your flour from your recipe just put it in there and that helps to prevent them I'm turning it into a paste. And then I'm just going to process this until finely ground. Okay. see they're nicely finely ground you want to make sure they're nice and cool before you do that because warm nuts also have a tendency to turn into a paste fairly quickly so once we have that then with you need two cups of uh, all-purpose flour white all-purpose flour which is about 260 uh, grams now we did take two tablespoons out to put in our nuts and then you need just a quarter of a teaspoon of uh, salt and just whisk that together And then if you have a stand mixer like this, use your paddle attachment. Or you could just uh, use a hand mixer for this. And what we need is uh, one cup, which is 227 grams of butter. And this is a shortbread like cookie. So, you know, try to use a lot of the flavor comes from the butter. So try to use a good quality butter. And um, have that at room, your butter at room temperature. And then I'm just going to beat this until it's nice, creamy, and smooth. Okay. Next, I'm going to add. Uh, just a quarter of a cup, which is about 30 grams of confectioner sugar. You might know that as powdered or icing. I don't use a lot of sugar in this uh, cookie dough because we're going to roll the baked cookies in more confectioner sugar. I don't like it. That's going to be sweet enough for me. If you want a sweeter cookie, you could up the sugar to about a half a cup about 60 grams of confectioner sugar. So I'm just going to beat this in until it's like nice and light and fluffy, a couple minutes. And okay, just scrape down the sides. And now I'm just going to uh, beat in one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract and try to use the pure. It's a lot better flavor than the artificial ones. going to add our flour mixture in there. It's 
start this on low speed because you don't want that flour coming up in your face. I'm just going to beat that in. down the sides here. And lastly, we'll just uh, add our finely ground nuts. As you can see it's pretty easy dough to put together. Gonna beat that in. Okay, and that's it. You can see, pretty easy dough to make. Shortbread doughs are. It's a great thing about them. Now we are going to chill this because we're going to, uh, we need a little firm so we can roll it into balls. So do is just put it into a bowl. Cover that and about an hour, I would say, depending on your fridge, just until we can get like it's firm enough to roll into small balls. So, so our cookie dough has now been chilled. So we're going to roll it into about one inch round balls, which is about two and a half centimeters, and then put them on a parchment lined uh, baking sheet, or you could just uh, butter it or lightly spray it with a cooking spray. Now you need your oven uh, preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about 180 degrees Celsius. And um, when you're um, rolling the ball, you can just use like about a tablespoon around, tablespoon makes about a one inch ball or you could what I often if you have a scale I often just put on the scale figure out how much a one inch ball uh, weighs and then it's really easy to um, make these now you want to space them a couple inches about five centimeters apart on your baking sheet Okay, so um, you bake uh, these for somewhere between 12 and 15 minutes. Or what you're looking for is just the edges of the cookies and the bottom of the cookies will be barely tinged with brown. Our cookies are now done. As you can see, the edges are just barely tinged with brown and the bottoms are just very lightly brown. Now, um, we're going to roll them in uh, confectioner sugar. You may know that as powdered or icing. So what you need to do is take about a cup, uh, 120 grams of confectioner sugar, and uh, you want to sift that. And you can just sift it into a bowl, or I've just done on a piece of parchment paper so you can see what I'm doing here. And then, while the cookies are still um, hot, we're going to roll them in the sugar. So, 
I'm just taking an offset spatula, or you can just take like a, a pancake turner or, or your bigger spatula, and just roll them in the sugar as much as you can there. And you may have to do this a few times. So you can do it now and then let them cool for a bit, roll them again. And um, these will store, like once they're cooled, you can store them in a covered container for several weeks. And then what you can do, because some of the um, sugar will dissolve, you can re-roll them. Um, tap that off a bit. You can re-roll them in sugar again before serving. So because some of this, obviously, when the um, cookies are very hot like this, some of the sugar will dissolve right into the hot cookie. So what I usually do is then cool them a bit, roll them again. Another way, if you're not, uh, you don't like a lot of sugar, sometimes I don't, I just take a, um, put some of the sugar in a sifter and then just sift it over the top like that. That's another way of doing it like so. So anyway, it's kind of a production line here. You can do it either way. And they kind of just melt in your mouth, these cookies. So, like I said, let them cool completely and then store them in a covered container for several weeks. So until next time, I'm Stephanie Jaworski of joybaking.com. <music>